To render a list inside of our Ionic application, we are going to use an Ionic component called IonList. And inside our list, we are going to use another Ionic component called IonItem. So here, what we are doing is we are creating a list and we are filling that list with items. Our item is going to have several things. First, it's going to have an, a thumbnail. And for that, we use the Ion thumbnail component and that thumbnail is going to be at the beginning on the list. So that's why we use the slot start. And inside of our thumbnail is where our image is going to live. If you don't have any images to display yet, there is a service that works as image placeholder called placehold.it, where you pass the image dimensions. And when you save, you can see how it renders on the screen. The text or information of our list item is going to be inside an ion label. In here, we're going to put a small title, Jorge's birthday. We are also going to put a description, something like. And lastly, we are going to put a date. We are using Angular's date pipe to format it. When we save it, we can see how the screen reloads and shows our information. Now let's copy our item a few times so that we can see how that list is going to render in the screen. One thing you can do is to remove that underline. And for that, you go inside of your list and you type lines none. Another thing we are going to do is to move this data to our class so that we avoid hard coding it in the template. So we are going to go into the home page. And in here, we're going to create a new variable called event list. It's a good idea to let our application know how our data is going to look. So here we are going to call an interface and we're going to call it parties. First is going to have an image and in here we can store our image URL. Next is going to have a title. It's also of type string. We are also going to have a description. And lastly, we're going to have the date of the event. Now that we know how our data is going to look, we can tell our application that this event list if, is an array of parties. And come to think about it, it makes more sense if the interface name is party. That way we can refer as a singular party or as an array of parties. Now we're going to initialize our event list with some test data. And we're going to do that in Angular's on init lifecycle hook. We are going to tell our class to implement the on init lifecycle hook. We also need to add it to the imports here. And then inside of the class, we can call it like ng on init. And in here, we can initialize our event list with some test data. For our test data, we're going to use the same information we had in the hard-coded list. And maybe we can create another one. Let's see. Evelyn's birthday. And this one is on September 27. Now that we have the data in our class, we can go ahead and refactor our template. For that, we are going to go back to the home.page.html file. And in here, we are going to remove all of the extra items. Next, we are going to use one of Angular's directives called ng4. And we are going to create a new variable. Let's see, this can be called party of event list. That this is the variable that's holding the events we have in our class. Now we can start replacing all of the data. So here the source would be party.image. Here we can change the title and the description. And lastly, we can change the date. Now we can save, and when our screen reloads, you can see that now we are getting the events we have in our class. 